Hey guys, Rusty over here with my first Shadowlands guide. So today I'm gonna be showing you how you can get the Wild Seed Cradle Mount. This mount is incredibly easy to get. It's a pretty cool one, even though it has some clipping issues. It's very easy to get. So with that being said, let's just get right into the guide. Now, first things first, you're gonna head over to Ardenweald. It's kind of more towards the left of the zone. Again, I'll show you on the map, but you need to collect five different items and you're gonna combine these items which are required in order to click on the treasure which contains the mount. Now the first one is going to be the gardener's basket. Again, I'll show you each location on the map. I'm going to head over to where I am. And this one is kind of near like kind of like a circle of water. Basically, all these items are fairly close to each other, by the way. But the first one is going to be the gardener's basket, which is on the edge of the fountain there. It's kind of small to see, but again, I'll show you in the video. The second item is going to be the gardener's hammer. Now this hammer is, again, kind of close to the gardener's basket. This spawns near a cart. And as usual, this is going to be a little bit, it's a, it's a small item. It's a little bit hard to see, but you'll see it right there it's right in the car as usual i will show you in the video the third item is going to be the diary of the night now this one in the area where all these items are you can see like these upper platforms with ramps going up you'll be able to figure out i'll again i'll show you in the video where this is but the diary of the night is on the top platform and it's going to be just sitting there on a table basically you're stealing the night phase diary i'd rather read the diary than have to listen to her, their freaking annoying voices though it's just oh, man those voices are annoying anyways that's the third item the fourth item is going to be the gardener's flute this one's pretty simple it's on the ground basically right by the tree you go ahead get the flute there might be some mobs here you just kill them and then you could go ahead and loot the flute fifth item is going to be the gardener's wand now this one could be a little bit tricky head over to where i am on the map now this the gardener's wand there's going to be a cart near a bunch of mobs too you're going to kill them off and kind of by a tree this wand is actually under the cart this one took me a little bit to find just because i had trouble seeing it under the cart but it's, it'll be right there under the car now once you have all five of the the items just go ahead and right click one of them it'll combine all five of the items into the twinkle stars gardening kit now basically you're going to head over back to twinkle star which is basically right by the flight path in the top right of ardenwield again as usual i will show you this location on the map and once you are there talk to twinkle star and she will give you a buff called moon sight which just lets you loot basically you're gonna have a sphere right behind her big circle a sphere right you click on the circle the sphere and you will get the wild steed cradle mount and that's it guys literally this is out of all the mounts I've seen in Shadowlands so far, I don't know, maybe I'll be correcting this. This is my opinion, probably the easiest mount to get in Shadowlands right now. So I figured, why not start off with this? It's a perfect guide. It's an easy mount to get. And that's it, guys. So as usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them as much as possible. I do hope you guys enjoyed this guide. If you did, throw it a like. Sub to the channel. And I really hope you guys are enjoying Shadowlands. This expansion so far is uh, like it's already better than BFA for me. It's already better than BFA launch was for me. So that's a good sign. And that's it, guys. But as usual, before I go, real quick, since this is a short video, but we'll keep it nice and quick, right? Just letting you know that Halo 3 is the best Halo. And that is a fact. Okay, there's no opinions here except wrong ones. This like Halo 3 is the best. It's a fact. All right, guys. And so the next video, which another mount guide, maybe even a gold guide. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. Until the next video. Bye bye.